Good morning, folks. Let me introduce you to the GOES R. It is not even set to head into orbit until 2015, but the claims being made about the technology are of the highest order. Set to track both weather and space weather like we've never seen before. I suppose we'll need a follow up educational documentary in about 25 months. Let's shift to Saturn. Besides the aesthetic image, the accompanying article discusses flux tubes, energy and radiation exchange, and how they may be related to radio waves. NASA's Airborne Snow Observatory, sending back the highest accuracy snowfall detail we've ever taken from above. Good article with this one, too. Lastly on the articles, with all the cold and rain records mentioned at this channel, it would be unfair not to also mention the heat in whatever form where it is presented. Solid article here as well. Coming to the RSOE alert map, where we have a mass fish die-off in Florida, east of the blazing heat in India came a deluge of hail, leaving significant damage and at least one person dead. Coming to the buoys, folks, I am stumped on this one. We'll normally call this data error, 100 foot sea swings in 60 seconds, or that longer line at the right edge, nearly 500 feet in a minute, with no ships or coastlines noticing. Normally I'd say I don't think so, seems like an obvious answer of unreal readings. Except that this exact same thing is happening all over the Pacific, especially up near the Alaskan Islands. I'm just hoping that the same company made all the buoys and somehow screwed them all up the same way. Taking a quick look at the satellites to track cloud cover, remember to click the website links provided so you can get real-time local updates to complement. Southwest Pacific sees a chance of storms in northern Australia, while Tasmania and New Zealand are a bit cooler taking showers. Sustained coverage and precipitation in both the UK and France has them joining the class of watch zones. Looking at the current and expected high temperature, why is it so cold in the central US? Let's look at pressure. Lows tend to move counterclockwise in the north when viewed from above, and because this isn't a nice round cell, the eastern part will appear more horizontal, while the western edge on the left will drive down hard and maintain the pattern as it is reinforced by a clockwise spinning high to the west of it. Where they meet in the middle, both air movements yank down from the north. Shouldn't be much severe weather in the US or Canada today, maybe the usual Florida afternoon storm. Got a gamma burst yesterday around lunchtime in the US, came out of the Hydra constellation. Solar wind was still jacked when we saw you yesterday, but look at the end. The yellow is approaching 400 kilometers per second. It's still slightly elevated, but tapering off for sure. Magnetic disturbance is waning. That's also indicated by the baseline resonance jumping up near 2.5 hertz, but that can also indicate energetic flux. No such thing for the plasma penetration right now as the red has moved below the blue, and the KP index shows the planet is settling down. Same with the sun. Flaring has been nil since the M flare. We'll start top right looking at the sunspots where a morphing, shifting, decaying relic of itself is still managing to hold on to a delta spot at the backside. As it turns today, it will indeed encounter the Earth footprint, so we might get one more before she goes. Then we still have these gentle giants on the southeast. Large, very powerful magnetically, but well organized, and so far have elected to remain silent. The Doppler gram really shows the distortion of the solar surface. That sliver of an umbral opening does appear to be Earth-facing today. The field lines atop the SDO suggest a perfectionist would wait, but impatience will allow me to just call that Earth-facing now. If we waited till tomorrow, we'd miss it for sure. Largest seismic events of the last day were a 5.5 in Kamchatka and a volcano eruption near Antarctica in the southern Indian Ocean. I wouldn't mind having the first major watch of the year with no earthquake deaths. Let's all hope for that as I leave you with shots of the corona, Plasma filaments dancing in 304 angstroms and a few others. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.